Hello everyone and welcome to part 113 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And in this video, we are going to start working on the context page. Okay, uh, in the earlier videos, we have seen uh, that we have we able to create the uh, CMS pages. Okay, and but now we are going to make the context page because context page is necessary in every website. Uh, user if having any inquiry then user can contact the admin of the website okay so contact page is required in every e-commerce website or other websites as well okay so we are going to uh, make one contact page here at bottom uh, we will add its link anywhere at bottom oh, okay so uh, let's start working on this contact page we are going to uh when once the user will fill that contact form we are going to send the email to the admin contact email inquiry email to the admin okay so let's start working on the contact email okay first of all we are going to make the route for the contact page uh in the similar way like we have created the route for the cms uh pages okay so uh see here uh display cms page so we are going to create the route uh, straight away before before uh, this one because otherwise uh, it will uh, means uh, our uh, this route uh, can uh, overwrite uh, that uh, means uh, can open that contact page route. See here the route we are going to make the uh, same kind of route with max get post okay get post route we are going to make okay so. I will explain you that why we are uh, means creating it before uh, the this one route. Okay, see here. Get post. Okay, and here I am going to name it like same way like page contact. Okay, I am going to name it like this. Okay, then after that CMS controller. I will make contact function in CMS controller. Okay. Okay. Now you can see uh, here that if I am going to uh, put this route after this one, after uh, CMS page route, then contact page will never come. Then the control will never come here because then this one will be executed and uh, and we don't want to uh, show the contact page from the admin panel. Uh, this is we have done for those pages like about uh, some regulation privacy policy that we want to display from the admin panel okay but this page we want uh, we don't want to display from the admin panel we just want to make this page static a static form okay because uh, this is the form form uh, we don't want to add from the admin panel okay so that's why we will uh, show this page before this one uh, so that control will pass away to this one only I mean this one page if the user going to uh, open this, uh, going to open this page page slash contact then this route will run first I means uh, then this will never come okay so that's why we are displaying it before this one here you can also display here like this display contact page okay so uh, this one is the contact page and uh now uh, we want to create the contact function uh, that we have given here that contact function uh, we can give now okay so now we can open that function okay let's see ms controller here here we are going to add that function contact function okay so we are going to add that function here at the end okay so let's see yeah public function contact okay like we used to do then return view okay and in the similar way we are going to create that contact plate file uh, inside pages okay so pages dot contact like this okay so here uh, now we are going to uh, is create this contact page inside pages pages here we are going to create this contact page file okay contact dot 
blade.php file and we are going to create uh, this file here okay so uh, here we are going to create this file contact bit file and now after creating this file i'm going to open this file okay yeah like this and also going to open this one cms page file uh, so i'm going to copy this content from here to contact page file because it will help us all the design we are having okay so uh, now here we can uh, means add here contact okay contact us or something like this anything and here in place of this one we are going to add the contact form and the form we can get from the eShopper template so uh, in the beginning you have seen that this one is the eShopper template and we are making the e-commerce website from the eShopper template itself so download means get the page from the eShopper template that uh, contact us form you can get from the eShopper template you just need to open that template html okay then here you can see the contact us html page in the eShopper template you can see this form and this form is required uh, for us to display there so we can copy this form and can display in contact us page okay so uh, i'm going to copy this form from this contact us dot html and then i will go to this form we'll check uh, where this form is displaying here it is okay so this is the form and uh, this is the form exactly this class contact form and i need to copy this one and need to paste this form here in contact blade file okay here okay so yeah now it is fine here we can say fine now okay so now we can open this one contact page contact uh, we can open and we can see here if it shows some issue we need to i think we need to include this part here yeah, i think so categories for menu okay so we need to uh, means include uh, this categories and subcategories code like we have done in cms page because we need to show this one at the left sidebar so we can copy and paste it here as well and we can pass uh, this one in the same way like we used to do uh, there in uh, the uh, means this function cms page function okay so we just simply need to pass if it does not uh, and uh, that thing required to required okay uh, so yeah now it is fine so this one is sending now now we can refresh and we'll see our contact us page is ready you can see it looks awesome and contact us get in touch uh, here in case of contact us we can just display get in touch or we can remove this one okay so um, it looks to be perfect okay so can see here uh, you can remove this line if you want to remove and this you can display on the, like this contact us okay so now it looks fine see here uh, validation also here in our uh, template so uh, now uh, we can give the form action form action we can provide to this form and then we we'll see okay so everything else is here so we can just need to provide the form action and the same action we are going to uh, give here uh, that we have given in a route this is our uh, our url so this same url that's why we have done get post because we know that we need to uh, use this page for get and we need to use this page for post as well for submitting the data and to send the email okay so uh, this one here here we can add it like this okay 
okay i can close and close it like this okay that's fine and csrf token never forget to uh, uh, we need to add this csrf token otherwise issue will come csrf uh, okay CLF. CSRF token field. Okay. Sometimes I also forgot. Okay, so CSRF underscore field we have added here. Okay, now uh, we need to update our contact function. Okay, so here we just need to add request dollar request. Okay, for getting the post data or we are used to we need to give it like this request or request now uh, here we will add uh, that condition okay uh, to receive the post data and uh, to send the email okay so if dollar request Okay, so we are going to display our post data so that we can check whether our data posted is correct or not. Okay, so now we are going to check. I'm going to refresh this one and I'm going to submit here. It's coming fine. Here I'm going to add our input uh, email subject okay test and here we can add testing now we'll see okay so you can see that all the poster data is coming fine here name amit gupta email amit yourmail.com subject test and message testing okay so everything is coming fine as well okay and yeah so uh, that is fine and now uh, we just need to send the email uh, to the user and we'll display some thanks message to the user that uh, we can show like thanks for contacting us we will get back to you soon such kind of message we are going to show to the user and we will send the email to the admin uh, that the uh, inquiry has come from that user that uh, that email the admin will receive and also we can post that contact form data in uh, in database as well uh, so that if in case uh, you uh, you might uh, you have littered uh, the email that inquiry email then you can uh, check anytime uh, in your admin okay so that is also uh, the other alternative to save the data okay so uh, that thing uh, email thing we will do in next video we are we will send the email to admin from uh, regarding all the inquiry details of the user okay then we will also see that if we want to save the uh, this data into some table like contact table we can make contact or inquiries table we can uh, make and can save all the inquiries into that table okay that thing also we can see okay so that's all for now and uh, in next video we will continue working on this contact us page okay so uh, there are more uh, things that are pending that we will going to do one by one okay i hope that everything is clear to you up till now and uh, in next video we will continue with it